Hey guys, it's Arcade and I'm back with another video. And in this one, I'm gonna create a song using only loops. And some people might disagree with people using loops in their music. At least before it was like that. Nowadays, it's okay to use loops in your song. Most people do it. But making a song consisting only from loops is almost seems like cheating. But to be honest, I think making a song using only loops is actually harder than having the options to use other samples and sounds, make your own melodies and stuff like that. Because with loops you are only limited to what they give you and you cannot really make anything and adjust it to what you want exactly. So yeah, I think it's kind of a challenge to make a song using only loops. So let's see how that goes. And this video is actually sponsored by Loop Cloud, which I'm going to be using. And if you want to check out more information about that, link will be below in the description. But basically, it's a free plugin slash platform for, you know, selling sounds and loops. And you can just sign up and get a bunch of free sounds and, and use this Loop Cloud software. You can even put your own sounds in there and have them nicely categorized, which is super awesome for people who are not organized in their folders like me. So Loop Cloud will actually automatically organize your samples but if you sign up for the subscription you can get a 30-day free trial you'll get much more features and things to work with you will get some free sounds you will get cloud storage you will also get some credits that you can use to buy new sounds and samples so definitely check out their 30-day free trial and you'll also get uh, two more plugins which is loop cloud drum and loop cloud play which are free one is a drum sequencer another one lets you play like one shot samples and lets you edit them while playing them. So yeah, they have a lot of stuff to offer. And as I said, a lot of it is free as well. And they really have a lot going here. And I'm gonna show you more about it while actually making the song. But definitely go check it out yourself and get some more information on it if you are interested. Now let's get to the making of this song. So I only wanted to use loops, no samples, no presets, no nothing, just loops. Uh, the reason why I think this is hard is because I have to find loops and samples that are basically the same melody. If I want chords, I need to find a bass that will play the same notes as the chords. So yeah, it's gonna be hard, but hopefully we can make something pretty cool. I also want to set a timer on it, 30 minutes should be enough to do this. I also want to show you some of the features of Loop Cloud in those 30 minutes, therefore we will lose some time there. But yeah, let's get started, start the countdown now. Okay, we are going, so let's uh, just go browse through some samples, find something interesting. Um, I'm thinking, let's, let's write, I don't know where to start, but let's do genres. Maybe like pop, something like, something like that. Let's see progressive house and let's just do loops, loops only. Let's find some chords, I guess. Let's just go to a sample pack because in a sample pack, you we will probably get some like chords and bass that will match well. Let's see a piano. So as you can see, you can play it here. It will play. So what you can do is add another track, for example, the drums, and preview them together. I don't own these sounds. These are in the store, but I can buy them for two points. You know, you get the points here, but you can preview them and edit them and work with them even before buying them. That's one of the great features of this whole software, of this whole platform. Okay, so I don't want that right now. Then another thing you can try is use the patterns, but you have a lot of presets here. We can try some house steps. Okay, it doesn't really work for this sound that well. Rave step. So that's interesting. It also has effects, which uh, there is a lot of effects you can use on these sounds. And of course, once you set the effects and stuff like that, you can download the sound with the effects on it and put it in your FL Studio. So you really get a lot of like little plugins in this plugin as well. Um, right now, I'm not sure if I wanna... Okay, uh, reset to auto. Let me actually, I got an idea. Let's go to chord stops, rave. Let's see which... 
That's pretty cool. I want to download that, but I also want the original. So let's copy the original into FL Studio and let's the process one as well. Another thing you can do, you can preview the sounds in your song, like right in FL Studio. So if you have a song and you want to see if the sound would work, you can preview it before getting the sound. I have an idea. So let's set the BPN to 125. So this could be like a build-up sort of deal, right there, but I'm not sure 100%. Okay, maybe maybe it will work. Yeah, so this one is D, so we want to set this to D as well, and we'll automatically set all the sounds to the key of D. So if I want to preview it in the song, so let me just play the note here. See if that would work as a melody. Oh yeah, that's good. So let's download that as well. By the file, download it. And right away, drag it in. Uh, actually, I want the process one, which is already lowered with the pitch. So what if, what if we do the same rave stab effect here? Uh, I don't really like that, so let's not do that. Maybe change it to like lead. Okay, let's not work with this. Let's find a bass because... Actually, let's do a full drum loop. Uh, let's reset the pattern. How much time do we have? Still t plenty of time to work with. So let's see some other drum loops maybe. Let's see if we can uh, have a little effect here. I don't know. <laughs> Off beats, that's probably not gonna work. Okay, that's actually pretty cool. Um, we can work with that. So buy that and download it. Get the processed one. Maybe see, let's see if we can put some effects on it. Stop and reverse. Oh, that's interesting. I might use that later, but not for this sound. So yeah, they have a bunch of interesting effects, which is really cool as well. But let's also get the original. I want to use this like a little filler in the drums. Okay, so this is kind of off. I don't know why. Maybe let's see if we can Put it like this. Okay, this is also not the best uh, fill. Okay, now it sounds pretty good. We're gonna work on that. Now we want some sort of a bass, right? Uh, to kick things off. And of course reset this. Synth, maybe synth. Okay, we still don't have... Okay, let's take this, uh, take this one. Is that any good? Don't worry, we're gonna do some mixing later. Right now, that's good enough. Um,
Okay, we're losing time now. We need to find it. Okay, let's get that and find the top loop as well. Okay, okay, we have 17 minutes, which is not a lot of time. Uh, let's get the top loops some. Come on, come on. Not a huge fan of that one. Yeah, this one is good. Let's get that one. Just download it. It's gonna be in the drop, probably. This is gonna be drop. Let's see how it sounds. Should we just have the kick? Like this. I mean, I'm allowed to edit the loops, so even though it's a loop, it almost seems like it's a one shot. But that's not against the rules. Okay. 16 minutes. Now we gotta find a really cool bass. So let's see, they have bass sounds here. This is not quite what I... Okay, this is not what I want. Um, Let's go... Let's go to like... Just house and let's find synth bass. Let's search for that. Let's see what we come up with. Okay, let's preview it. No. <laughs> I don't have time to like browse through a lot of samples, so I need to find something quick. So let's see. Electro house, bass house. Let's see bass house. Nova bass. This looks nice. This I like this artwork. Hopefully they have some cool sounds. So let's do loops. So the issue we're running into is Everything is lower. Okay, let's just uh, look for things that are already in somewhere in D. I'm wasting so much time on looking for this bass, but I need it. Okay, this might work. Let's see. Can we have like a... How do we edit this? So I just want the tape effect at the end here. <laughs> Maybe we don't need that. Okay, let's keep that. <laughs> That's a kind of a weird effect, but it might work. And let's download the file, put it in there. How much time do we got? 11 minutes. Okay, I made songs in 10 minutes before, so hopefully we can do it. Um, but also we need some sweeps and I don't know if I can get them because they are not as actually loops, you know? I don't know. Let's just uh, do some automations here. Uh, I want to do this. Okay, let's uh, do one more automation where we do a huge reverb impact almost kind of deal
Okay, this is decent, but well, can we have this in here as well? Okay, we can definitely add it later. I'm not sure if this transition makes a lot of sense because it's like... But I actually can imagine a pretty good song from this right now. But... Yeah, let's see. We need some effect. Like, effect between... You know, some, some effect there. Let's maybe this actually, but let's see if we can do I saw uh like a scratcher. The scratching effect. Yeah, that's kind of what I wanted, but uh let's just do no oh, how how do I Yeah, this way. Okay, that's maybe too much. I don't know if that's a great idea there. Uh, let's just uh, put it in there, see what happens. But I don't think that will work. For sure not. Okay, maybe. Oh yeah, that's pretty good. I mean, it's weird, but... Yeah, I think I just want this one here. Okay, that's decent. We have five minutes just about. Let's see, what else can we get? So let's remove these effects now. And, okay, let's actually delete everything here. And I just want effects, 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 downshifter. So I don't know, should I use some of these, even though it's technically not a loop, but it's in the loops category. It's long enough to be a loop, let's say. So yeah, this is a this is a loop. It's like a sign chain white noise loop. So let's put that in. And one more, this one. Put that in as well. Let's lower that and let's reverse it here. Because that build up is pretty bad. <laughs> Let's not kid ourselves. But yeah. Can we use this? Yeah. Okay, we get got to do some mixing in three minutes. <laughs> That's great. So much time. To do mixing. Okay. Mm. Can't ruin anything with a sound good, is there? Okay. Gross beat. Gross beat it is. And my custom sign chain. Okay, that's good. Maybe some distortion, I don't know. I feel like that sound could use a little bit of a distortion. Um, distortion, this one I mean. Uh, make the volume of the kick a little bit louder. Did you 
some last edits, last few seconds. Done, I think. <laughs> uh, let's just put a fab filter on the master channel so we don't clip. And I think we are done. And oh shit, I put it from the gener generators. Surely this is it, okay. Yeah, so three seconds. We made it in time, just in time. And boom, damn. Yeah, the sound of success, hopefully. That is our little song. I think it turned out pretty well, especially the drop is actually really good. And it's only using loops, nothing else. Made in half an hour. Let's see how it sounds. And hey guys, that is pretty much it. There you have it. It's the song that we made. I'm pretty happy with it. I like the drop especially. when it's really basic, you know, just the bass and the vocal. But it sounds really catchy. So I think we made a pretty cool song. And yeah, all thanks to Loop Cloud, of course. The sponsor of today's video. And make sure to check out Loop Cloud. I really recommend it to every producer. Especially since you can get it for free. If you don't, if you don't want to pay, you don't need to and you will still get some free sounds and free plugin that will organize your samples. But if you do get a subscription, you will get so many features and so many new sounds and just access to millions of sounds that you can just preview, edit, and then choose to download. So yeah, check it out. More information in the link below. And other than that, I hope you enjoyed this video. So yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.